Yo, what's good YouTube? Y'all know me, it's your boy, MacDZ, back up in there, and today, today I'm bringing you a thing. <laughs> it's speaking time, y'all, back up in there, no doubt. So, uh, today we got the Bugani. This is the M99, and this bad boy is a little bit heavier than I expected when that box came. So, um, if you guys couldn't tell, this is a little bit smaller unit, <laughs> giggity, from the normal one that I have, and I say normal, but the, I believe it's the M84 or so, that's from Bugani as well. And this tends to be um, a, a little bit on the smaller side, but the reason why I picked it up is because besides the fact that it's a portable 16 watt stereo speaker, it supposedly has amazing bass with the built-in mic um, and it's 100 foot wireless range. Now, they didn't really go into all the little specs and whatnot, but what I did like was the price. On Amazon right now, it's $29.99 and you can save an extra 25%. I wish it was $25, but it's a 25%. And that made it, from when I picked it up, about 20 bucks, which is always to my liking when it comes to these speakers. So let's take a look a little bit around the box, then let's get up in there, see what we got going on, okay? All right, let's do it. So let's get back in there, take a look around this box like I was saying, and uh, see what we got going on. All right, so around the box here, we've got the M99 branding here. Let me see if I can get you guys in the clearer focus there, okay. You got your IPX5, it states for you. You do have uh, HD clear sound, it says, super long standby they didn't really promote that on the site uh, on amazon but it is what it is uh some more bugani of their branding your m99 your waterproof um now see i don't really like when things advertise waterproof in your ipx5 but it is what it is um around the back here it gives you your product features uh, letting you know the model number, the battery capacity is 2,500 milliamps. Uh, the speaker, um, what does it say here? Impendence is 4Q. Sensitivity is 75 plus 3 uh, dBs. Output is 8 watts times 2, so that's where you get the 16 watts. Speaker driver size is 2 inch times 2. No giggity on that. Uh, product size. It lets you know here as well with your specifications, with the IPX rating, durable. Um, what does that say? I can't even see. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read past the camera here and some of the lights. Uh, durable and rugged with silicon uh, material protection, new high end metal grid, and crystal sound with deep bass. So let's go ahead and not, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we got from Bugani. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and give our little punisher knife here a go. Alright. And inside the Bugani box, we get something that falls out. Alright, that looks like the speaker. Oh, there we go. Let's put this down for a second. Let's see what else we got. Nice. Okay. Don't you hate when that happens? There we go. All right. So you get a little baggie in here. Inside of the little baggie, we got a few things, a few things from the Bugannis. Let's see what we got. All right. So uh, like before, we get the caps over the um, over the the cables here, and this is a micro USB to USB. I said it on the last video, I will say it again Bugani, let's go. Let's step it up a little bit. We gotta move into the 21st century as we in 2021 here. We gotta get that Type C charging on. But I still find it a lot of fun saying your name, Bugani. All right, what else we got in here? We got a 3.5 to 3.5, like it. And uh, we got some booklets here. 
the booklets we got is your lifetime full service. I was looking more like for the last Bugatti, where it has like, uh, you know, fun and all that other stuff. And then, but, oh, oh, there it makes some noise. Yeah, there you go. Bugatti noise. Okay, so there you go. You got your support, your information. Here is your user manual for your IPX5 waterproof wireless speaker, M99. All right, so let's take a look at the speaker itself. Boom. See what we got. See what we got. Okay, and like I said, it's got some weight to it. You know, it's um. It's not a lightweight thing. It's got that rugged casing um, with this look here. This definitely is the silicone around the edges here. And this is like a plastic casing here. Got your company. Now this is more of like, a, yeah, this is stuck in there. So it is what it is. Here are your controllers. We'll go over those in a minute. Looking around more around the, around the unit itself, giggity. Um, you have some feet here on the bottom. This is plastic, there's like a hard plastic here as well. Um, let's see, I'm looking for, oh, there it is. The port. Okay, so you got your IP5, gotcha. Here is your micro USB in, and there is your 3.5 for your aux devices. Then we've got some controls, plus, minus for your volumes, the power, your play pause, your rewind, your rewind, and fast forward. Buttons. So let's go ahead and power this bad boy on if we can. See if we got any juice. Okay. And right into its pairing mode. Like it. Like it. Scroll down to the bottom here. It is scanning. Let's look for some devices here. What are we? Oh, Bugani M99 Bugani. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, okay. There you go. There you go. Now, like last time, people are going to probably be upset with me for playing uh, some crappy music. Don't worry. Don't worry. I understand completely. But uh, to ensure that I'm not getting hit by no copyright stuff. I will continue to play until somebody sends me some actual good beats that they would rather me use, all right? <laughs> all right, so here we go, y'all. All Okay, so I am not blown away by this speaker, now, nor did I expect to be, first and foremost. But I will say this, it carries enough bass, it hits enough highs that if I'm using this in a situation out in the road, out in the go, and it's something that I stick into the bottom of my bag, I can, I can, cuss, I can, I can get away with, with it, definitely. Would I put it up against some others? I think I might have to, just to see where it would. Now, when I talk about those others, am I talking about like the JBL Flip 5s? Or am I talking about the um, the Sony's, uh, like the XB23? 
Probably not in that category, but you know what? The LG PL5, I may put it up against that. I'll definitely put it up against some of the smaller anchors. I want to test it up maybe against that new Anchor uh, Soundcore 3 that's recently released. Um, I definitely put it up against the Soundcore 2. Um, maybe the Unts, uh, want to check that out, see how that works up against this too. So we have a few options and a few different areas that I think this might carry. And the reason why is because of that ruggedness so if this was even for like a child or a younger person and you're scared of them destroying stuff as we know kids do this might be an option for their bluetooth needs all right so what i'll go ahead and do is drop a link down below with uh where you can pick this up on amazon and while you're down there you might as well go ahead give me them thumbs yo give me them thumbs and hey always be the hero in your story not the villain in someone else's peace